I've had the privilege of working with a lot of our colleagues in the last two decades, very much involved in the last few years. What I've seen very common that for most part, the sales have declined 20%, 50%, on some cases has gone off the cliff. So I started gathering data. What is causing this? So I came to a conclusion there is three types of business people or business owners. The first time type is business dabblers. By accident, they got to the business. The business was new. The market a decade ago or not before that was prime. The business increased. Over time became flat. And as things started changing, it started declining, declining. And somewhere in decline, they said, this business is not for me. This business is not good. They got out, and interestingly, the conversation is going on still with some people. So when I talk to some people, they say, this is not the right business. This is a terrible business. I need to get out. I am trying to find a way to get out. So what is common? characteristic between these people. These people don't read, don't get trained, don't get educated, don't adopt to market, and do not retool themselves for today's market. The belief here is what got them here will get them where they want to go. Using the right vehicle in today's world is can assure you, not necessarily, because there are other dynamics in here in, involved, can bring a surety for you to go where you want to go. The second group of people are stressors. They got into the business, business grew, went flat, start declining, and they said, I got to find a way, I got to find a way, I got to find a way. They found a way brought the business up, flat, start declining again. I got to find a way, I got to find a way. Overall, if you look at in the last decade, business went up, flat, done, up, flat, done. The curve overall is declining. They are disheartened. They have lost the passion for the business because they are sick and tired of being stressed out all the time, so they became, they're just sitting, hoping the economy is going to change. It has nothing to do with the economy. It has to do to your methodology. The economy should not dictate your economy. So the third group are anticipators. And look around, you know who they are. Right in front of your eyes, they just kept going growing and growing. They're educated and they have continuous education. They get trained and they train their staff. They anticipate the market would change and they adopt their market position with the latest tool, the latest methodology through contractors, employee, trainers. And look around. You know exactly who they are that right in front of our eyes in the last two decades. They just kept growing and growing and growing to be the market dominators. So, the second part of this survey research came, what is the problem? How can I help you? Sales. I don't have enough sales. Next, I need sales. I need traffic. So we started with some specific group, put something, a measure in place. Let's count the number of customers. So we started with the lower segment of the market, the mid segment of the market, and the higher end. Something interesting came up. That the traffic is still there. The sales are not there. So when we put the measurement in place, Interestingly, we saw 
on a good day, on a good day, 30% closing. For more part, 15, 20% closing. There, there are three types of salespeople. Underperformers. Accidental salesperson came to the business, never been trained, never took any initiative to learn about the art of selling. Came to the business, grew the business, initially a lot of energy, market was prime, and from there on went flat, and from there on it has been declining. These people don't read, don't have an interest to uh, up their skills. So I bring an example to them. Your best friend is a physician. And he graduated from medical school 25 years ago. And from 25 years ago to today, he hasn't kept up with the new medicine, new methodology, new technology in medicine. And your loved one is sick. Would you take your loved one to your best friend who is an outdated physician? And 100% of the time they say, no. I say, why would I buy from you? You are no different than that doctor. There is a second group of salespeople that I call them flatliners. They came accidentally to the business. They learned enough to have a growth. And from there on, their growth is consistently the same. They do enough to keep this line flat. A little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit up. When we look at in the data of this group of people, historical data shows consistently he's on a flat line. Superstar day one that they came into the professional of selling. They realized the opportunity. No ceiling for the income. They are on commission. They're hunters. They hunt, they eat. They don't hunt, they don't eat. For most part, they don't have the base. They are on high commission. They have continuous education. They constantly retrain themselves. They make sure they go to seminars or read the latest thing about selling and their growth has been consistently like this. Here is the amazing part. The first three group of business owners and the three group of salespeople, they match. The underperformer works for the doublers. The flatliners are working for the stressor and the superstars are working for anticipators. To the first group we say, hey, the meaning of insanity is keep doing the same thing and believing you're going to have a different outcome. Einstein said, that's the meaning of insanity. To the second group, we say, in order for you to be anticipated, a constant growth company, and taking your flatliner and make them superstar, you need to look at your data. Data is the new gold. So I ask most of the time, what is the most valuable asset of your business? Some say, my inventory. I said, sorry, I can buy your inventory today. Better product, more updated product, cheaper. Some groups say, is my staff. And I said, no. I can train your staff beyond your imagination to surpass superstars. These are champions. Some people say my location is so irrelevant. Then they ask me, what is my most valuable asset of the business? The only thing that you have that I don't have is your data historical data, and in some cases, three decades of data in your market. That's the only thing I don't have. Data is the new gold. Now, what do you do with this new gold? For most part, the technology industry 
inventory point of sale or ERPs are predicting the future of the software. Let's define what is software. Software is accumulation of business rule that has become automated. For most part, the ocean liner is the old technology. The airplane, the new technology. Business rule needs to deal with your today's business rule, today's pain. You know you are using for most part technology that is two decades old. The business rules are irrelevant to our pain and challenges today. This is made by a retailer like you. For retailer like you. We know the pain. So the old technology gathers data and on some cases if you are good if you know what you're looking for if you are excellent business analyst that you know what you want then there is probably a place that you can go find the data pull the data analyze the data and we know our strength is not business analysis our strength is to buy and sell. So, the future is prediction for software is they're going to make softwares that keeps the data at your fingertip, looks in historical and give you analytical report where you have been, where you are, and compare this information and instantly give it to you. They're predicting also that the future software would make the use of data easy. Well, I have good news for you. What they're going to make, we have it now. Knee-jerk reaction is to pick up a phone and call a technologist. Yeah, technologists know what technology can do. But they don't have the wisdom of our business. They have never been a salesman. They have never been a store manager. They have never been a store owner. They have never purchased rock. They have never traded rock. They have never done service. Guess what? Accumulation of business rule of over 350 unique businesses around the country gave us wisdom of pain. Constantly being in touch with them, interviewing, what do you need to know? Whatever you focus on, it influences you. What influences you as a store owner, store manager, salesperson, it would influence the outcome. So the question came, what do we get them to focus on? And the second part came, if you can measure it, you can manage it. If you can manage it, you can grow it. What do we measure? So we interviewed 350 unique businesses, small, one location, doing under a million dollar, medium size, up to five location, doing three to five million dollars, more than five location, doing 10 million dollar plus. And we gather knowledge. What do they need to measure? not only sustain their position in current economy, but grow their business. SMART is S-M-A-R-T. Specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, timely. Based on this, we put reports together at their fingertip, and we gave it to them. With the SMART version of RM Pro Ingenuity, we are seeing more than 300% growth in today's market. So what made this work? So if you remember, we said, whatever you focus on. So what do we need to focus on? We looked at historical data. We pulled historical data in two parts, sales, service. And we came up with historical saying, Last June, you did this many invoices, your average invoice was this. Now, 
the destination of where you want to take your business is up to you. You can say, I want my business to grow 20%, 50%, 100%. The moment you put this formula in, it pulls for you. In order for you to have 50% growth, you need to do this many invoices a week, this many invoices a month, and this should be your average invoice. This is what you need to focus on. What we have done here, everything you need to know at one glance and a click away. So it's no different than if you see it in the driver seat of new cars with new technology. Everything you need to know is on your dashboard. If you're curious, if you want to find out what happened to any part of the business, sales, payment, account receivable, account payable, one click, it will show it to you. We also have on your main screen the ability, of course, you can customize this. Who sees this? Who doesn't see this? Certain people in your organization, based on the security level, will not see this. But whoever you want to see what, they can see what. It will look in historical data, compare the data with your performance of today, and give you an alert. You are behind, you are ahead. Certain function of the business, you send something on approval, and you put an expected date. Mrs. Jones, when would you let me know? Next Wednesday. On Wednesday, if nothing has happened, on Thursday, it gives you an alert. Hey, you have an invoice that you didn't follow up. You do a purchase order, and you tell your client to come next week to pick it up. The day that's supposed to be there, it gives you an alert. Hey, buddy, you need to follow up. Mrs. Jones is coming to picking up. So there is no way you drop the ball. Anything that is moving, the system would give you alert. You are outside of the business. We have designed the system who would get what kind of information outside the business. Any transaction happen, we have a system called notification. It would send you an email and it would send you a text message. So if you want to know about sales, every time sales happen, you are outside the business, you get a text message. Payment, you get payment, whatever you want. No longer you need to reach the phone and say, Joe, what happened? Anything happening? Information available for you. Anytime you want at your convenience, you reach for the information and you find out what it is. During the day, you don't want to see. It. The end of the day, you want to get a summary report. The end of the day, it will give you a summary report. Now you can be sitting by your pool on your laptop getting educated about how to take it farther and information comes to you. Because this is a visual industry. We relate to the pictures. So every report have a chart and a graph to show you where you are and we give measurement on it. So you know exactly where you are with the business. It's called business intelligence. Click, picture of the business comes up and you can drill down on any part of your business to know more detail about it. It is as simple as you can make it. One of the main challenges our community has since the business has changed from two decades ago is this number of catalogs that the vendors give us. Because 20 years ago, our industry for most part was one of kind. Today, for most part, is program goods. So. The vendor prints a catalog, invests heavily in that catalog, and the moment he ships it to me, that catalog is updated. Because they have new introduction, and they have discontinued. Well, that's a small challenge. For average retailer works with 15 vendors, so we have 15 books. Every book has supplement. For most part, these books have been put together with no rhyme or reason. So we have institutionalized selling program goods. So on, on the best day, you have two to three percent of your vendor SKUs in your store. The client comes in, look at the inventory, see something that you have, and the question comes, does it come in another size? Does it come in another shape? Does it come in another color? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. 
So the journey of customer finding a product, which used to be selling process before, right now is collaboration between the sales associate and the client. We collaborate together to find the product. So we go through this book and then we go through this book. It is a partnership until they ask how much. So we have been sharing our information. Now how much, we need to go in the back, we need to pull a page, we're no longer sharing the page. This is our cost. <laughs> we lose the partnership. So you need to take your share back from these people. What we have done in this technology, we have made electronic catalog called e-catalog, a global search with a lot of tools in there. One of them is rebranding. So what you want to do now, you either show the brand and with everybody's website price in your store or you rebrand the vendor name, the collection name, the design name and becomes blind. When they come feel it, touch it, they cannot go buy it. They got to buy it from you. This, this technology has been designed specifically to empower you as a retailer to fight back with the dot com and the big boxes. It has your name on it. You can customize your home page so it looks different than anybody else. You can rebrand vendor, each vendor, collection, design. You can reprice on the vendor level, on the collection level, on design level, on the SKU level. You can promote the inventory inside the store. And by the way, when Mrs. Jones say, hey, I got to go show this to my husband. For the first time, we have communication. And here there is a tool, you gather the customer's information, you email the search result, they go home, they open, the link would open, and you know when they opened it, and by the way, you know what else they looked at. Now you can go back and say, hey, Miss Jones, I saw you looked at the link, but you spent more time on looking at this design. By the way, I have a special value on this design. Here is a coupon. Come back and take advantage of this. We don't have this kind of technology. We can take our share back from the dot com. How do we get customers coming in? We have made an app that we're going to start promoting it really heavy past July show. This app is free for consumers. They download this app which called iRugs. I R U G Z. Again, I. R U G Z. Consumer downloads this. It has all kind of friendly tool for consumers. They can take a picture of their. They can search by brand, color, size, shape, price, and find the item that they want. And we have everybody's product in there. Over thirty-two vendors. They can take a picture of their room, take the rug, drop it in the room, move it. Resize it, shape it, see how it looks. If the rug that they picked has a different color floor than what we are showing, they can change their floor, different color of wood floor, and we are going to introduce uh, ceramic and tile and marble later. At this time, we are focused on hardwood. The moment they know this rug, it shows them all the sizes, all the shapes, all the prices. The map, the user of this kind of devices, no, the map means location. They push the map, your store name will show up if you are in the database. They push the store name and a drop down menu comes that would give them driving direction from where they are to your store, your email, and your phone number. The moment they push the map, we know who they are. Now, if you become a member of each catalog, there is a lot more offering here. The moment they push the map, we know which rock they were looking at. We send them a coupon, your choice. You send them a discount, your choice. You take that rock that they were looking that they pushed the map and discount it and send it to them instantly. You actually have six pages 
promoting your business and your services. So each page could have text, PDF file, video, you talking about your service, your product, special services like cleaning, repair, um, your an approval, your policy, how long you have been around. This is the way of future. Localized transaction. The consumer go, find the product, push the map, find the closest store to that product. The first phase of it is 100% free. No obligation on your side, no obligation on vendor side. The only thing you need to do, ask your vendor to add your name to IROX. They would call us, they would authorize you showing as their retailer, you're up within 24 hours. Now, IROX practically would drive the consumer to your store. Now, if consumer keep coming to your store, an email keep coming to you showing Mrs. Jones interested in there, the rest of it is your skill set. How to take prospect and turn them into client. So innovation, commitment is to bring efficiency into your processes, collapse inefficient part of your business. We have a number of different solutions for your pain developed by people like you for you. We have RM Pro and a suite of product around RM Pro. For instance, if you use QuickBook integration, we have complete integration. One button, done. Your uh, bookkeeper doesn't have to spend hours re-entering data and many more things. We have eCatalog and iRox, and iRox is a mobile solution app that is going to bring the customer to you. If you are interested to be the next company to have a constant growth, we are not a software company, we are a solution provider. We have softwares and solution to remove the, your pain, to collapse your inefficiency, to save you time, to save you money and show you how to grow. Contact us.